boy is just your normal little kid. He's cute, he's a toddler, he likes to, you know, play peekaboo and he loves his stuffed animals. I wish people would see that right away when they saw him, but I mean, they don't and it's not their fault. You know, they see all of the tubes or the trach or like the feeding tube is really, really weirds people out. Can we put tube on the other side? Nope, you're good. I think for kids, especially when they see lost, and I think the biggest thing is they just have questions. They don't, you know, they just see, they just see things, they're seeing things they haven't seen before. So they, they have tons of questions and like sometimes parents' reactions are just very interesting. So parents will just be like, oh, don't, you know, stop looking kind of a thing or others will just, you know, try to explain the best they can. All babies in utero, their organs grow inside their umbilical cord. And so the organs start growing in the umbilical cord and then around between, I think they say like 10 to 12 weeks gestation, the organs move back into the abdominal cavity and like continue growing. So with an omphalocele, the organs stay on the umbilical cord and like keep growing there. And so then they told us that he had this thing where his organs could be growing outside of his body. I actually was introduced to Lawson um, at about four months through scoliosis clinic over at Helen DeVos with Dr. Cassidy. Um, Dr. Cassidy had said, I have a kid who has a very large omphalocele, but also has scoliosis. Can we make a brace for this? I mean, Mary Fruva has been great. Connie's amazing. I really like appreciate how like open-minded she's been because I mean I didn't realize how much of an art medicine was. People always say that, right? Like, oh, medicine is an art, not a science. But like, you, I really never got that until like we had lost it, and it's like it really is an art. Like, just because it works for one kid doesn't mean it's going to work for another. And the process when I first saw how big the infallacy was was like, oh goodness, this is a lot bigger than anything we've ever seen in our clinic to deal with infallacies. So thinking, how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna make a brace to incorporate it? Um, and how am I going to make cast out of this? So coming together with family and saying, this is what I think is gonna be the best option for him. Let's cast him, let's send this out. Let's make a brace for him. Two piece style to help actually be easier for donning and doffing for the family. Connie, when we bring him in, measures it like a million different ways. She has all of these different numbers. She measures like around and up top. Like the brace itself has helped this curve go down what, from 45 to 12 degrees or something like that. And But like that's like huge progress just from a scoliosis standpoint. It's exciting for me to see what his next, um, you know, adventures are going to be like here with the repair of the hernia and then the repair of the omphalocele. Um, I'm hoping he can continue to keep cruising and doing all of his normal things.